I'm Jim with Liftall, and in this video, we are going to explain how to properly inspect your chain slings. To begin with, let's review the correct inspection schedule. This consists of an initial inspection, frequent inspection, and periodic inspection. A designated person needs to perform the initial inspection, which is given to any new, altered, modified, or repaired slings prior to use. After the initial inspection, frequent inspection should be carried out before each use using the removal criteria we'll discuss later in this video. The third scheduled inspection is a periodic inspection. This inspection should be regularly scheduled based on the frequency of the sling use, the severity of the conditions, nature of lifts, and the experience gained on the service life of slings used in similar circumstances. Periodic inspection should not exceed an interval of one year. This inspection should also be performed by a designated person. While this person does not need to be a representative of the sling manufacturer, it should be performed by somebody other than the person performing the frequent inspection. A written record must be kept of the most recent periodic inspection. Liftall recommends using documentation similar to what is shown here. If this documentation of individual slings is maintained, it should be based on a unique serial number, color coding, electronic tracking such as RFID or other means. Now that we've explained the proper sling inspection schedule, let's review some of the specific signs of damage you should be looking for that could indicate a severe reduction to the integrity of the sling. When I begin the chain sling inspection process, I first look at the tag. Is the tag legible? Does it contain all the required information? Can I read its serial number? If so, I move on with the inspection. I then check to see if the mechanical connections are able to move freely. If so, I move on. I'm looking for damage to the chain. If I find any bent links or nicks, gouges, or cuts that get through the hardened outer layer of the chain, I need to remove that sling from service. When conducting the chain inspection, if you can see with your naked eye that the sling has stretched or bent links, it is a good indicator that the sling fails inspection and needs to be removed from service. When inspecting the sling hook, if it has a latch kit present, I want to make sure that it makes contact on the throat where it's supposed to. If it doesn't, it's a good indicator that the hook has been stretched and the sling needs to be removed from service. Additionally, if any of the following forms of damage are visible, the sling should be immediately removed from service. If there are any knots in any part of the sling, if there is any evidence of heat or chemical damage, including melting or discoloration, if the chain link is worn past the limits specified by the chain manufacturer, if metal fittings or chain is cracked, nicked, gouged, stretched, deformed, pitted, corroded, or has weld spatter. If chain links and attachments do not hinge freely with adjacent links, if the hook throat opening increases by more than 15%, or is twisted out of plane by more than 10 degrees. If any of this removal criteria is found during your inspection, the sling needs to be removed from service, replaced, or sent to lift all for repair. When inspecting each sling, the inspector should assess the cumulative effects of all the damage when determining whether a sling passes or fails. Generally speaking, when the total damage to the sling equates to a loss of strength of 20% compared to new, it should be removed from service. Here at Liftall, we take the inspection of our slings extremely seriously. We suggest taking a conservative approach to sling inspections and remove them from service if there are any questions as to the integrity of the sling. Liftall is the trusted name for quality lifting and rigging solutions. Whether it's a standard item or something requiring custom engineering, Liftall is here for you. For more information, visit www.lift-all.com or contact us at 800-909-1964.